is Google Colab as we are going to write our web scraping task in the Google Collaboratory notebook. So let's see what is Google Colab and how we can use it to write our Python script. Okay, so let's close this and you need to go to your browser and just write C-O-L-A-B that is Colab and enter. Now here you will get this first link which is collab.research.google.com so you need to click on this link so just click on this link and you will see this window for you guys it will be a white window as i have changed my settings here so that i am getting a dark screen okay so you get this window and for you it will be just welcome to google collab page you won't see all these files okay so let's cancel this and let's see what is this google collab so Google Collaboratory or Collab for short allows you to write and execute Python in your browser. So you don't need any idle or any such IDEs. You just need a stable internet connection and you can write your Python codes needless of your system configuration. Here you are going to be allocated some RAM and some memory from Google. So that it is not going to be dependent on your system configuration okay you just need to have a stable internet connection and you can work on this google collab you can write your python files you can execute it and perform your task okay so if you want to read more about this here they have provided a very good documentation what all you can do and i recommend you to once go through it so that you will know what is google collaboratory how you can use it where who are using it for what purpose and how it will be useful for you now here what we need to do is you go to file then go to new notebook go to file then go to new notebook so you will get a new notebook where you can write your codes and also you can document your code properly so here this is the title it is untitled zero as we haven't provided any title here so i can change this title i will click here and let's name it as web scraping and now we have named it as web scraping dot ipy now here you click on this connect so that you'll be allocated some memory and some ram so that you can run your script here now in this cell in this cell we are going to write our python code for example, here I'm going to write print and let's say hello and welcome to this session, right? Now, how we are going to run it, right? Now, to run it, either you can press on this icon over here or you can run it from your keyboard by pressing shift and enter. And here, as you press shift and enter, you'll get a new code cell. You'll get a new code cell. And if you want some more code cells, you can click on code here. So you click on this code and you will get new code cell. So here you can write your code and execute them and see the output as well. Also, I can write some text as well. Let's say here we want to write some text. So here we are writing text. and here you'll see here we are adding text this information right so here it becomes really easy for us to document and at the same time write our code so this is your google collaboratory now where the this file is going to be stored if i want to access this file where ca can i find this file again right so here you need to be logged in in your google account first of all you need to be logged in in your google account then only you can use this if you are not logged in in your google account or gmail account then you cannot use this google collab make sure that you are logged in first of all now if you go to your drive there will be folder there will be a folder created by default that is book collab notebooks now here if you go to this collab notebooks you will find your file so here i have all this google collaboratory files so for the file that we have created now is webscraping.ipynb. So ipynb 
stands for your interactive python notebook okay so this is your google collab and how we are going to use it to write our web scraping task i hope you have enjoyed watching it if you have liked our content please do hit like button and do subscribe to our youtube channel for more useful content and exciting updates if you want to learn such practical content at an affordable cost with microsoft certification and instructor support please register at academy.codenan.com you can also download app from play store as codenan Never hesitate to raise queries in the comment section and please do reply with your suggestions for more practical videos. We'll be happy to come up with it. Thank you.